Hi guys, welcome back to the WizBlock. Continuing on our computer networking tutorials, we'll be looking at the OSI model today. Now the OSI stands for Open System Interconnect. Now the OSI was developed by um, the International Standard uh, Organization. The, so the OSI, OSI was developed by the ISO. Now the ISO <coughs> is a body that establishes a framework for computer to computer communication. The OSI is often referred to as a layered protocol. layer protocol because it has seven layers in it the first layer is actually the physical layer so the first layer is not it's not red from top to bottom but more from bottom to top now the first layer is a physical layer second data link third network fourth transport fifth session six presentation and seven application now the functions of these layers oh well the benefits what what you might ask what's the benefit of this stupid OSI model now the, the OSI the opening OSI stands for open and it means that systems are open for communication with other systems because you have closed systems and you have open systems Microsoft uses a lot of closed systems and the open source community uses open systems it's open to the public you can uh, for example code software if you're in the um, what's it the GNU or some open it's an open movement um, you can modify certain codes and publish um, the modification that you've made to the code this should actually be international yeah now layer 7 application layer this is mainly for user interface for example if I'm using an application word and I type up a document and email it from Word or Outlook then that application or how the application operates function is really done by the application layer now the presentation layer is responsible for formatting whatever I just typed in Word in a format in a, in formatting and encoding whatever I just said in a way that the receiver can understand and de can decode and understand the information the session layer or layer 5 is responsible for establishing and maintaining a direct secure communication between the sender and the receiver the transport layer it uses a protocol known as the TCP protocol or transmission control protocol this protocol is um, is a connection oriented protocol it ensures that your data is delivered your information is delivered accurately from the sender to the receiver uh, layer 3 the network layer now routers operate at this layer this layer um, is responsible for routing or forwarding your packets along the best path available so that's what that's, that's what routers actually do they calculate the best route that your packet needs to travel to get to your destination quickly and on time now data 
layer 2 data link layer this layer is responsible for um, breaking down your packet into manageable pieces known as frames and these frames again um, they're numbered so they also ensures that your um, data when it reaches your receiver it's it's um when the data reaches the receiver sorry when the data receives the receiver it's accurate and in the exact order that the sender sent it the physical layer this is responsible for putting or coding your electrical signals putting your data into zeros and ones binary format so that it can actually be transmitted on the physical communication medium now this could be a coaxial cable coax or ethernet it wouldn't be fiber because fiber uses light pulses so we can't put fiber there so that's how the seven layers of our OSI model operates the function of our seven layers now a benefit one benefit of the OSI model is that if if something goes down let's say our network layer which has routers devices can be easily exchanged um, on a particular layer without affecting the whole network it's not let's say it's not um, vendor specific the devices that operate at the layer is not vendor specific so I can easily replace a Cisco router um, with a router from another vendor and it will work just the same that's 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 one of the main benefits of the OSI model so I think that's it for the OSI model thanks for watching and our next tutorial will be on the TCP IP model okay bye